We're glad to know you're still there. It's still the breakfast on Plus TV Africa, and we're looking at what is happening in River State. Remember that yesterday we had the president of Nigeria, the uh, um, Al Haji or Ashiwaju, <laughs> Ashiwaju <laughs> Bola Ahmed Tinubu, um, holding a peace meeting, as it were, with uh, uh, the stakeholders in uh, River State, including the former governor. Um, Yesom Wike and the current governor Sim Fubara and we saw some agreements that were reached. Anyway, we have as our guest this morning God's Will Jumbo, former Rivers Chief Press Secretary to a Deputy Governor and he is a publisher. would like to just describe him as a publisher this morning. Good morning uh, God's Will and welcome to the program. Yes, good morning. My pleasure being here with you again. Okay, the guest we just had before uh, you came on, um, not immediately before you came on, but on the off the press, said uh, Rivers is now having Act 1, Sim 1, Act 1, Sim, Sim 2, <laughs> and all that. It's been a drama in, um, in, in River State. So uh, we're not going to ask of the updates because we already know what the agreements uh, that were reached were. We want to find out the reaction of uh, the the sim camp, mm. as it were, because these agreements were mostly in favor of the wiki camp. All matters instituted in the courts by the governor of River State should be withdrawn. All impeachment proceedings, that's the only one for sim, uh, should be uh, withdrawn. Uh, the leadership of the River State House of Assembly, as led by Right Honorable Martin Amaule, shall be recognized and so on and so forth. I've seen the like seven-point agenda or the eight-point agenda uh, of that meeting and we're asking how is the other camp taking it? Okay, uh, first of all, let me make it clear that the documents be referenced and so far it's only TVC that has referenced that document. Uh, media houses have a role to play in mainstreaming and properly, you know, streamlining public information. It is our duty as media personalities, media organizations, to make sure that the authenticity of the information we put out in the public is uh, consolidated, is verified, and all of that. That document, you know, has already been flagged as, uh, as suspects. And so far, it is only uh, TVC that has put out uh, the contents of that document in the public. The signatures appear to have been, you know, written by the same hand, the mm. same style of writing. Mm. You can check them. Uh, there are people who are best in checking out handwritings. And when you check all the signatures, they have a common thread, a common uh, corollary running across them. And then, a meeting of such nature, as critical, as important as it is to the polity, the, the, the political space in River State, uh, none of the people who attended the meeting have spoken to the press, which is strange. If a meeting is held with the press, then we always find one or two persons from that meeting briefing the state house press yeah. on the outcome of such a meeting. And we cannot uh, take things for granted in this uh, case. And then, early this morning, we heard from uh, the young man, Kalama, the spokesperson of uh, Edison A. you know, that the document is not authentic, that uh, His Excellency Dr. Peter Otini and His Excellency Governor uh, Sim Fubara did not sign that document. And then if you also look at the, the resolutions, the purported resolutions, uh, they are all filtered on one side. And then they are in reach of extant laws in Nigeria. Are you asking the Supreme Court has ruled that once you defect from the party that sponsored you to a political office, you lose that position. So, we have the president of Nigeria, who is the ultimate custodian 
of the Nigerian Constitution as it is now, asks a sitting elected governor to now go to, to a group of people who are by law no longer lawmakers and then represent his budget to them. Is that what we're expecting a sitting president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria to do? This is not a banana republic. This is not uh, just anywhere. This is Nigeria. And Nigeria is constituted by laws. So no matter what the mediation processes are, will the president be asking uh, a sitting elected governor to agree to conditions that violate extant laws in the country, violate even the ground of the constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. So we do not see any veracity to it. The presidency has not made a statement. The LCT ministers camp has not made a statement. The government of River State has not made a statement. And then, probably the neutral party in this case, Dr. Peter Otini, former governor of River State, has also not said anything. So, and they have media needs. All the the personalities and the institutions I've just mentioned, they have media, they have spokespersons. Has any of their spokespersons come out to say this is it? Even the document that is being referenced, uh, what, let's look at it now. We are media people, we have the basic, you know, the, the basic things to look for in a, in a document. That document was the heading, it is not on any uh, letterhead. And then the conditions. He needs, and then the signatures they are all suspect. So we cannot actually say anything on the basis of you know that document. And then let me also correct something. I am you said you want to hear from the same camp. I am not in any camp, I'm a journalist like you. So I'm neutral. No, 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 no. I, I, I didn't I didn't group you into the same <laughs> camp. Let me say that. I didn't group you. I said, how is the same no, camp taking it? Same for bars before before. Before we, we went, no, uh, I was. Yes, yes. How are they taking it? I didn't say, how are you taking it? Okay, this morning, in fact, from last night, when that document went into the public space, I spoke with my, okay, not, not just my friends, now my brothers. Because the governor, you know, is my brother. We are all the money. Opoko, and he is from Opoko, I am from Boli. So we are obviously. Ethnic group, the same uh, race, the same uh, uh, set of communities. So, Bobo is an offshoot of Boni. So, I've tried to reach uh, family members, I've tried to reach a uh, spokesperson, I've tried to reach even my uh, senior friend, Amoku Senipo, Joe Johnson, the commissioner for information, River State, and none of them has given a feedback yet. I've also tried to reach the the House of Assembly member representing for the constituency, uh, Honorable Victor Okojombo, who was with the governor in that, you know, trip to Abuja for that meeting. And then he has not also given a feedback. So uh, there is nothing from that camp, apart from the statement by uh, Mr. Kalama, the essay on media to the Speaker of the River State House of Assembly, right Honorable Ehi NDC that the document is suspect and that Dr. Peter Dili and Governor Singh did not sign that document. Apart from that, nothing else. So I'm sure in the next couple of hours, we'll be able to hear from the government, hear from the Singh Fubara camp, and uh, probably even from the FCT minister and probably from the presidency. But for now, everything is in abeyance. But let me also make something clear. If the president, being the father of the nation, wants to intervene, wants to mediate in a crisis situation, what would we ordinarily expect him to do, given the circumstance? We will expect that no matter what the mediation you know, processes will look like, we will expect that he will stay within the ambits of the law. Two, he will mainstream the interests of rivers people who will be the ultimate beneficiaries or victims of whatever the outcome of that mediation process would be. And then we would also expect that he will bring caution to the table for all parties, whether the governor or the FCT minister, who is actually his staff, 
you know, they will want to bring caution to the table. Now, whatever it is, let's make sure that the the the, the, the policy, the polity is stable and peaceful. Whatever it is, we, that's what we expect the president to be. Now, that document in circulation does not carry those. So, for the people of River State, generally, we've been talking to a lot of people across, you know, Port Harcourt, Boni, other places, and Rivers people do not expect such a thing to be even on the table at all, at all, at all, at all. Well, the law should play out its course. They expect the courts to, you know, look at the issues and deal with it. And if a, a competent court of law has already said that this is the speaker of the River State House of Assembly, that is what stands. Is the president going to reverse a decision of the judiciary? I would not expect that to happen. We don't expect him to do that. So let's not put it on him that that is what he's doing. He cannot, you know, put himself in that kind of situation. We should expect that he will not do that. So for Rivers people, they are waiting, you know, with bated breath to hear from all the parties involved in that meeting last night to be able to know whether what is being bandied about in the public is true or not. So for now, everybody is in suspense and waiting. Well, uh, until that official statement is made, uh, the possibilities are 50-50 on the mm -hmm. minds of people because uh, it, on, until they deny it, it could be true, it could be a lie. And we are waiting for that official document. For now, this is what we have to contend with, maybe a propaganda or something. But the, in the first place, uh, does the gov uh, uh, president have anything to do with an internal crisis of a state? Does he even have the constitutional powers to be the one to mediate? Some people are worried that no matter that he is the father of the nation as you described him, he clearly has an interest in that issue. This person, like you said uh, rightly, is his employee and he has not held him down and said, okay, I want you to concentrate on what I have given to you and leave River State. He has not cautioned him in any way, at least openly, that we can see. So. People are thinking that he has an interest and he shouldn't have been the one to even meddle into the affairs of River State. Rivers people are, are mature enough to settle their own differences. Okay, as for that, yes, uh, legally speaking, the president has no say in what's happening in River State. It is an elected governor that is on the saddle, elected by the people of River State. Constitution, constitutionally recognized. And then, he has an issue with uh, one or two persons, and then the president come in. The president can't give the, any governor a river in Nigeria as a whole. The president can't give anybody orders. He can't give any of the governors orders. When we came was the governor, was the president of Nigeria controlling him? Mm. Was the president of Nigeria telling him whatever to do? If I thought the, the, the president wants to come in, he will come in from the perspective, the angle of political solution. And then, but the first thing he will do is to caution his staff, his employee, the Nelson the, uh, yes, Wicked. He should call him to order and say, Mr. Man, I gave you an assignment. Focus on that. Get that sorted out. What's this uh, cat fight and, uh, you know, you know that kind of fight that uh, cocks uh, do in the village? Early in the morning, they want to decide who has a uh, superiority mm. uh, for that at least for that day. They sort it out that morning. So you see all the cocks. If there are five cocks, six cocks in the village, that morning they will still they will be fighting with each other just to assert their uh, superiority. And then the next morning they will repeat it. And that, isn't that what uh, the LCT minister is trying to bring for to River State? I think the first thing the president will do as a responsible person, as uh, as a as the person who understands his role as the president and father of Nigeria, as it is now, you know, he will call his employee to order. He will tell him, look, focus on what you're doing. But as far the legal right to intervene in this law, the president does not have. Because the president cannot give the governor orders. He cannot tell him what to do at all, at all. And then, let's also look at the issue of the House of Assembly. The president is executive. The House of Assembly is, legislate, is legislating. So, uh, will the president be telling the, the legislature what to do? Obviously not. The legislature will sort out itself naturally, you know, yeah. and it is being sorted out, both, you know, in the courts and out of the courts. It's being sorted out. 
already the, the, the both parties have gone before the judiciary, which is a different arm of the government to ask questions. And the judiciary has come out and said, between the two of you, this is the person that is the speaker. And then this other group has also, you know, have also indicated that they are no more members of the party that sponsored them to an elective office. Automatically, they lose their seats. They know the implications. They know the law. They know the position of the law. If they don't know, their lawyers know. They know the position of the apex court, not a court of first instance, not an appeal court of first instance, but the apex court itself, the Supreme Court, has taken a position that if a party, a political party, sponsors you to office and you leave that party while in that office, you also lose that seat. Yeah. It is there in black and white. But so there is that's what I was just going to ask yeah. as well. Yeah. But there is this, there is this uh, condition that if the party is in disarray, if, if the party there's a problem with it, and they are citing some problems within the party as the reason they left. Uh, they're talk talking about uh, with a national secretary of the p party or something, but that there's a rift inside the party, so that's the reason they left. What would you say about the condition, so to speak, of the PDP in River State? Do you say there is a problem or there is no problem? Uh, the, the national secretary of the party can be in Abuja and say whatever he wants to say. We are not just reverse people. We live and work here in River State. As I'm speaking with you now, I am in my office in Bonny Island. You understand? Just days ago, I was in the office in Christina Report Office in Port Harcourt. And then we have our staff, you know, in Port Harcourt and in Bonny, you get, and other places. We are in River State. We are River's people. We eat here, we sleep here, we wake up here. We take our bath here, we dress up here, we go about our normal business here. There is no rift in PDP. PDP remains one. Nobody is quarreling or fighting inside PDP. So there is no rift. There so, is no basis for saying, no, we are the campaign because there is a problem in the party. What is the problem? The, the former chairman of the party, Desmond Akawo, just uh, resigned uh, days after he was appointed to the federal uh, position. And then, everybody, on all both camps, both the Jason Wittay camp, the Simpwara camp, and every other camp, they all came together to bid him farewell. You know, the acting chairman, you know, has also been there. Nobody has disturbed him. There are no two chairmen of PDP. Not at the states, not at the local government, not at the world level, not at the, the unit level. So where is the rift? Nobody is fighting anybody within the party. Where there is a rift is in the hands of assembly. Even the executive, there is no rift. Some people felt, okay, I don't want to work with the governor again. I resign. And even thanking the governor for the opportunity granted them, you understand, to serve in the government. They, they, they didn't say we are leaving the government because we have an issue with, you know, the governor. Even the attorney general himself even made it clear in his own letter. He said, for clarity, he is leaving on personal interest, on personal reasons, not because he has any issue with anybody. You understand? So where is the rift? I want to hear that, oh, there is a unit of the PDP in Gokana or in Kana, or in Okoko Koro, or in Emoha, or in Ikwere, or Ahuda West, or Abu Ahudua, or Onyibo, or Boni, or Okrika, or Ogubolo. There is a unit, there is a ward, there is a local government, you know, a chapter of the party where there is any form of quarrel. There is none. Across the state, there is none. All 23 local governments, all the wards, all the units, they are together. There is no rift, no double chairman, no double youth leader, no double uh, woman leader, nothing. So, what are we, where, where is the notion of a rift within the PDP and River State coming from? There is none. Okay, there so, is none. so there is no basis for them 
become so what does this mean now especially with this 27 that have decamped from pdp which you say has no rift um in the party what does this mean are they going to be in another party and still occupy this seat especially with the document that we have that says um the um, house of assembly is still recognized alongside yeah. the 27 members who have resigned from pdp yeah even though you say the document is fake, is even though you say the document is fake. But if, if, if for now, instance, it's true. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, let's assume without conceding mm. that the president asked and all parties agreed that these lawmakers, you know, uh, now constitute, the, uh, the, they properly constitute the state house of assembly. Okay, so what happens uh, then? We have also looked at it. Does Eye Edison come back as a majority leader of the yeah. House of Assembly? Is that what is going to happen? Is that what is going to happen? The, the 27, uh, okay, 27 before, now later 25 uh, members, they come to the APC. Are they now going to come back to the PDP? These are the questions so we're we asking. So come and soup and say in the, in the course of mediation, you know, since we are trying to settle the matter, we can go to the dining table and start eating. What will we be eating on the table when the soup has already been spilled and the pot has been thrown away? So what will we be eating on the dining table? You cannot burn down my village and then you say in the course of uh, peace and reconciliation, uh, everybody can now go back to their village. Which village will I be going back to? Which house will I be staying in when all the buildings have been destroyed? So. So you see why we are having exception to that resolution. So, but let's assume without conceding that there is any form of veracity to that uh, document. If the House of Assembly members, you know, are now recognized, then it also means that AEADC will come back as the majority leader. It means the House of Assembly members will have to revert their position on their party membership. They have to come back to the PDP and be under the control of Sinfuara. And you know, that is where the issue is. There will be no such thing. Because Wike is being pressured by the federal government and by the APC to decamp to the APC. That is at the core of this. Okay. What he wants to go with the government, he wants to go with the House of Assembly, he wants to go with the party structure, he wants to go with everybody. Mm -hmm. So that it doesn't, it's not like he's strolling into ABC just by himself. He's coming with clout. He's coming with a crowd. He's coming with, you know, the capacity. That is what he's trying to, and that's not going to happen. Okay. That is where, the, the, because reverse people, like I've said on this program earlier, uh, PDP people. River State is PDP. Yeah. You understand? I am right. not an apologist to any of you. And by the way, the only party I belong to is ABC. You understand? Why I put politics. <laughs> so what I'm saying on record, Empirical evidence abounds that reverse people are pro PDP heavily. Even Mike himself, why is he not the campaign to the ABC? Okay. Well, that's a question. Months after the presidential election, <laughs> months after the inauguration of the president, months Sadly, after the Sadly, we have to wrap it up. Yeah. Yeah. I wish we had more time yeah. to have a conversation with at, you extensively. At, at one scene, too. We are going to enter scene, <laughs> three, scene three, maybe. We'll still call upon you to give us updates on uh, Rivers, but today it's been uh, very enlightening what you have said. First of all, the document is, according to the other camp, fake. Mm -hmm. I know that the other camp that uh, put out the document will say it's authentic. Mm -hmm. We are waiting for those small hours that will lead us to the official document. Thank you so much, Mr. Jumbo, for coming on the program. Thank you. My pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. We've been talking with Mr. Goswell Jumbo, former River State uh, Press Secretary to the Deputy Governor. He's a publisher and he was talking to us about what is happening in River State and whether or not the agreements that are flying around on social media are true or false. And he mm -hmm. said it's fake. Well, that's how we wrap it up on the show this morning. Uh, my name is Nyamgul Agadji. Let's do it again tomorrow. My name is Rome Paulson. Have a good day.